Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for another look at some of the world's finest riding gear. Today we're going to be showing you the Knox Richmond Mark II jeans. This, as the name would suggest, is the second iteration of these Richmond jeans. The Richmond came across into our lineup about three years ago and it's been one of the best selling jeans ever since. It's a wonderful formula of simple designs, fantastic protection and very reasonable pricing. Knox, who are having an amazing season here at Urban Rider, looks set to do even better with the release of these jeans. They've made some impressive improvements and refinements over the successful formula from the original Richmond's and they've brought into play quite a few new features too. So these are much better for it, I think, from a jean that was already very good. There is a modest £10 increase in price from £139 to £149 and I do still think this makes them one of the best value jeans in our lineup. So what we have in terms of the tech spec as a overall quick run through is a 10 ounce Cordura denim outer. This is integrated with a stretch fabric as well to make it comfortable. This is also new from the previous version, giving you that stretch comfort, meaning that it's easy to get into position, there's no restrictive parts, and also means it's more accommodating for more shapes and sizes. The Cordura is interwoven into the denim to make it still look and feel like denim, but giving you that extra abrasion resistance on the primary outer layer. This is then fully lined and backed up with DuPont Kevlar, which is the industry leader and pretty much the standard when it comes to an aramid fiber. So this is a highly abrasion resistant material which sits underneath this cordura denim outer and it gives you a lot of abrasion resistance. So much so in fact that one of the key headline features about the Richmond Mark IIs is the fact they are double ACE approved. Mostly it's only big bulky touring trousers and the like that attain higher double A levels. So these look and they feel just like the predecessors. In fact, they are better, in my opinion, by some margin than the predecessors, and yet they have this AA rating. So that is fantastic. The 149 pounds includes CE-approved microlock hip and knee armor in the price, and this is a great thing as well because microlock is Knox's own armor, and I believe it's the best armor that is in the entire industry. So that comes included, and it simply slots into internal pockets for the hips. So in terms of getting those in and out, of course, you need the jeans off. But the main armor, which will be the knee armor, is gonna slot in via this access pocket, which is a hidden, seamlessly integrated zip, which is on the inside of this knee area. So simply zip that up, open the access point, slide in or out the armor. Now, of course, the major selling point about this is you do not need to remove the trousers. So these jeans, the whole idea of them is you can wear them all day on and off the bike, but that slightly becomes redundant if to get the bulky knee armor out, you have to then take the jeans off. You may as well just change and have worn motorcycle trousers in the first place. So having armor like this, using their system as Knox do with this really well hidden YKK zip is fantastic. And it's my favorite way for this armor to work and they do such a good job of it. So I'm a big, big fan. The jeans come in blue and they come in black. There is a 33 leg as standard in the jeans. So I like this as well. This is a nicely thought through feature. Most jeans come either 32 or 34. And in reality, being on a motorcycle, 32 being the standard leg length, you do want a little bit, an inch extra because you're gonna be with your leg at a right angle in most cases, and therefore the bottom, the hem of the jean is gonna rise up, and you do not want a gap. So having a 33 leg, I find is spot on for 90% of people. They will also be introducing a shorter leg for people that need it, and that will be available again within a few weeks of the release of the jeans. The actual fit of the jeans in terms of waist sizing is pretty much true to size, maybe one inch generous, I think. So I'm a 33 inch waist, and that means in most jeans that only come in a 32 or 34, I kind of go one way or the other depending upon the particular jean in question. These ones, I'm definitely in a 32, quite comfortably in fact. And the stretch in the denim does allow me to get nice and comfortable in them. So I do think they are true so slightly generous. You can check over at urbanrider.co.uk, the full size guide, and we give you all the external measurements as well so that you can really compare that to your favorite jeans you have at home and get the right pair first time, especially if you're buying online. So this Dewpoint Kevlar lining, this is a fantastic selling piece as well. Kevlar is one of the industry brand names for an aramid fiber, and it lines the entirety of this jean sitting underneath this outer layer. This has also got elastine in it, so it makes it really comfortable to walk around in, to sit on, and to wear for extended periods, but it does a great job when when it comes to abrasion resistant slide times. The styling of the jeans is really quite neutral. They're supposed to look more like your regular everyday jeans than they are an outright motorcycle jean, which appeals to the majority of people out there. And given that these do feel so comfortable with the stretch, it allows them to feel every bit as casual as they look. So the styling, as you can see, you've got the double stitched slightly off-colored stitching going around the back with this lowered V pattern. You've got the Knox belt loop with branding on this belt area. This is pretty subtle. It's really the only branding you'll find on it. 
Otherwise, going back around to the front, you can see you don't have any external horizontal stitching for the knee pockets, which is a really great feature, making them just once again look as much like your normal jeans as possible. It's a simple zipper to the fly system, which is something I prefer in terms of just ease of getting the trousers on and off. And you have this one riveted black metal button at the top as well. The lower part of the hem can also be turned up. So the actual DuPont Kevlar liner stops a couple of inches off the bottom. So if you want to turn this up, you have a continuous look to it. You don't have anything giving away the fact there's an aramid liner under there, which looks good as well. So all these little details add up to make a jean that I just think is fantastic. So essentially the Richmond Mark II improves an already popular formula and I think this is one of the standout items in our lineup now. So we're expecting good things from it, but we want to know what you guys think about this and also if you have any questions and comments or feedback, please do always leave that in the section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.